When the earthquake struck last year, Alia al Sheikh Debs literally threw her children out of the house as the stairs crumbled and the walls cracked. Other people didn't get out fast enough, and locals say they could hear their cries from underground for days before they died. Debs's small family survived and moved into a tent, as did so many other people in this region, where most of the population has been displaced by war. We shouldn't go in the house because it must be demolished, but we sit there despite the danger when the tent is flooded. Other families in the region were not so lucky. I lost my son because my children and I were under the rubble. They took out one child, then me and my youngest son. They didn't get my other son until evening, and by then he was dead. Last year's catastrophic earthquakes originated in Turkey, where more than 50,000 people were killed. But the tragedy spread well into Syria. Nearly 6,000 people died here from the earthquake, in one of the lost areas of the country still at war, with nearly 100 civilian deaths in recent months. Health officials say a year later, the earthquake's aftermath is still diminishing their already limited ability to take care of the sick or injured. Unfortunately, after the earthquake, many health facilities were damaged and we lost a large number of medical personnel at all levels, including doctors, nurses and administrative personnel. Basic needs, like beds and medical equipment, are also in short supply. And all kinds of humanitarian aid to the region have been severely cut in the past year. Locals say many people who were surviving on food aid are now hungry. When the earthquake first happened, we received food aid, detergent, and other things. They gave us clothes because we left our homes without anything, and they gave us blankets. But now, there's nothing left. This help was only at the beginning of the earthquake period, and now there is nothing. Food assistance comes sporadically now, she says, when it comes at all. Heather Murdoch in Istanbul with Mawia Atrash in Idlib, Syria.